Thanks for joining us. We are talking to Amit Tiwari, he's Vice President, Strategic Alliances and Systems Engineering at Affirmed Networks. Amit, thank you so much for joining us. Very nice to be here. Thank you. Now, Amit, of course, here at MWC, we're talking about 5G a lot. So tell me, what will be the benefits for your customers? You know, if you look at 5G, you know, the technologies are one thing. You know, it's, it, it, it'll be a great formative technology that will actually drive pervasive computing and pervasive uh, connectivity. But really what, what, what gets us excited and gets our customers excited is the fact there will be all sorts of services that now can actually be really executed and put to, put to bear that in the past were very much you know, within the realms of science fiction and the, in, the, in the realms of, of thought, so to say, right? So think about this. Being able to actually create services where you can do near real-time decision making based on artificial intelligence, actually have policies in the network that follow the requirements of the customer business processes. These are types of things that need to be near real-time, they need to be immersive, they need to be such that the end customer actually feels the level of intelligence right there and things like edge compute, things like, you know, you know, high speed, ultra low latency technologies will actually drive all these new use cases. That's what really is exciting about 5G. So Amit, we've got hybrid IT and FV accelerating the intelligent edge, AI and ML of course. So out of all of the above, which ones can help CSPs accelerate their journey to 5G? Absolutely, these are our very key concepts. So if you think about Affirm Networks and what we did, we drove the transformation of service provider networks towards virtualization. Now think about this, virtualization becomes a sort of a building block for everything that comes after, i.e. You know, the pervasive networking right after that, right? So NFV and network functions virtualization drove the cost of creating new networks with new services down to a level where innovation was not held back by the cost that was associated with it, right? We have this you know, creed that we go by, let the developers create, right? And the way you do that is making compute available everywhere, making connectivity av available everywhere. Let developers create apps that can be run in the core, at the edge, far edge, the, the near edge of, of the network, and let them be able to do decision making that comes with machine learning, data sets that can be now created right at the edge, AI that runs on top of those data sets, and is able to actually enhance all sorts of business processes and actually just the lives of individuals, right? So these are the types of transformational things like NFV, the virtualization part, intelligence at the edge, policy at the edge, local policy, centralized policy working together cohesively, together with the pervasive connectivity that comes with 5G that just changes the game in terms of, you know, how we work, live and play. So how can CSPs transform to become digital service providers? You can see this trend. It's, it's such a key trend, you know, worldwide. You can see service providers coming up with newer services, coming up with newer creative ways for the enterprises and individuals being able to work and do all kinds of you know, jobs as well as their you know, livelihood and you know, how they interact with each other with social media and such. But there's a very interesting aspect uh, th that you start also, also realizing. Content is becoming so pervasive. You, know, you have content that was you know, streaming content, for example, right? That's one thing. Now you start seeing AR-based content, right? So immersive content, which is augmented, uh, you know, VR, which is actually near real time. So actually, you can collaborate in virtual in, in the virtual domain. These types of things become the driving factor for communications. Think about it. There was a time when social was driving communications, right? We're moving on to the next logical step. Just like virtualization was the foundational block for cloudification and the hybrid clouds, same streaming content that was in the networks, now getting closer and closer to the subscriber, making it immersive, making it collaborative. This becomes the pull for communications. And this is really the next generation of how we communicate, how we stay in touch, and how we collaborate. So Amit, how do you think the intelligence at the edge can help accelerate the CSP journey to 5G? You know, with the, with the massive amounts of throughput that's being projected for 5G, and you know, we're already, for example, you know, you know, at a firm, we are working very closely with CSPs to actually create networks uh, that have massive throughput, ultra low latency. So think about this, right? If you try to do this in the legacy brute force approach where you just throw compute at it, right? 
it just the business model is such it it really doesn't justify putting that much of compute for at times you know think about this think of sports venues there are times when there is an event going on and there is massive amounts of data being generated massive amount of data being that's you know being shared and then it's not that event is not happening anymore right so being intelligent about it being able to dynamically and elastically put the different workloads that basically able the service provider to now consume, create, and distribute that content, and at other times, we actually move it from that place to somewhere else. Elasticity, virtualization, and the ability to have policies that enhance the view viewer experience in this case are key to making all these types of services, especially in the context of IoT. You know, if you think about it, IoT can actually be very high fidelity data, for example, very high fidelity, you know, enhanced augmented reality or even virtual reality, and IoT can actually be a very simple case where actually they're actually uploading data from a power meter, right? Think about this. The way to be able to justify each one of these you know, use cases, and there's a whole spectrum in between these two, right? Comes from intelligence in being able to dynamically create workloads at different parts of the network and being able to justify the cost of those workloads for the end business case. So that is key to the intelligence you know, for 5G networks. Amit Tiwari, thank you very much. Thank you.